Amen. Hallelujah, church. Go ahead and take a seat. Man, if you've been around me for any length of time, it depends upon what the occasion is, you'll probably hear me say something like this. There ain't no party like a Christian party because the Christian party don't stop. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and, and try that with somebody next to you just for about five seconds if you can remember that. If you can remember it, you're going to be saying this, I believe it, for some weird occasion. There ain't no party like a Christian party because a doesn't that just sound like a party for today? You know, this is the only party that I can think of that began with an empty room, and now the room is full. Amen? Amen. Because that's just the way it goes. Man, there's just churches all over the planet right now that are filled, and they're worshiping, and they're praising him because of the empty tomb, because Jesus defeated death. And that's the story that we're celebrating today with my friend Ian. Ian, come on down here. About a year and a half ago, I was preaching New Year's Eve, and uh, it was fresh after I kind of broke my shoulder. And this guy, this character, comes up to me. Hey, hey, say hey there, buddy. <laughs> he came up to me. He's like, you know what? Um, he's also known as the walking doctor. He goes, man, you know what? If you need somebody to help rehab your shoulder, I'm your guy. And uh, that was the beginning of a, of a new friendship. We've met several times in a coffee shop. We just began talking about life. And Ian's on a journey. And uh, it's a journey that I've been able to witness. If you're part of his life group, you've been able to witness this as well. And so, Ian, can you just share with us um, some of this journey uh, that you're on? Well, that, that's a lot of a story for a very short period of time, but uh, it, it kind of involves losing everything to, to follow God and, and just coming back to, to find Him again. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to share the story if anyone wants to talk about it afterwards, but it's probably a little long for just right here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know in your story, God's been pursuing you. I think it's interesting that when Jesus rose from the grave and he defeated death, that one of the first things he did is he sought out his favorite people. And he went to the beach, right? And uh, he prepared a meal. And, uh, and man, it's been uh, something to witness that God's been pursuing you. He's been actively pursuing your heart. And to see you in turn surrender that back to him has been something awesome to witness. And I know your life group and other people here to witness that. And... Um, you have any last words to share? Uh, last word, famous last words. Famous. Yep. Yeah, uh, in the words of Andrew W.K., let's get this party started. Okay. <laughs> this is a good party. Got a full house here, bro. But Ian, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? That he died on the cross and he rose again three days later for the forgiveness of your sin? Absolutely. Hey, man, that's a pretty sure there answer. So with that answer, I'm going to baptize you now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We got two more. I wasn't sure if my shoulder was going to bring it back up, actually. That <laughs> was my bad shoulder. Who else got a story they want to share out here? Yeah, I heard there was two more. All right, everybody. What's your name? What, Naomi? All right, everybody, this is Naomi. You know, this is going to be an exciting day for you, Naomi. I mean, this is a day in front of friends, family, church family, that they're going to witness the decision that you're making today. And this decision that you're making today, you're saying, you know what, I'm all in. I've decided, I've given my life to Jesus, but I want to follow him for the rest of my life. Is that what your intention is here today? Yes. Yeah? Is there anything more you want to share about this journey that God's taken you on? I just, I really want to give my life to Jesus right now. And I've been thinking about it for a while, but I really, really want to do it right now because it's better with my heart. Hey. It's exciting. Are your parents out here? Are your parents out here? Yeah, right on, Mom. This has got to be an exciting day for you. Well, Naomi, how old are you, Naomi? Fifteen. Fifteen, church. Yes. Amen. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and that he died on the cross, and that he rose again on the third day for the forgiveness of your sin? Amen. Cross your arms. For that confession, Naomi, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Young 
people are just impulsively ready to follow Jesus. It's some of the most exciting times about being a youth pastor is being able to watch kids, young adults, and that kind of stuff, saying, you know what, today I'm all in. I know we got one more. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben, you start playing. <laughs> I'm not good about filling dead air sometimes. <laughs> There's a party out here. Oh, yes. A brother in Christ right here, man. Good to see you this morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Want to tell everybody what your name is? Oh, me? Um, my name's Chad. Chad. <laughs> All right. Dude, you all need to hug Chad afterwards, man. That's a... That's a hug from the love of the Father right there, man. So, Chad, I know you've been coming around, I think it's been since last summer. Last Easter. Since last Easter. It's been a whole year. Yeah. Man, I can remember when we first met out on that table, man, and you're just somebody to encounter. And um, just somebody who's just pursuing God, again, like I've seen with some of the other guys, and you just want Him. I mean, I know there's a lot of things out in this world, but I think you're one of those guys who say, you know what, you can have this world, just give me Jesus. Is that you? You want to share some of that journey? Uh, just God is love. God is everywhere. God is all things. Thank you, Lord, for uh, for your son, for you Amen. coming down here, doing what you did so that we can be with you. Father, thank you for the kingdom and thank you for your son to, to let us in the door. Amen. So, your turn. Right on. <laughs> okay. So, Chad, uh, you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I know you do, amen? Amen. And that he died on the cross for you personally. For you. And for me. But he had you in mind as well, yes. And that was for the forgiveness of your sin, and you accept that. And you're going to live for that. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to baptize you now, Chad. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.